is telescoping and aiming. Insert the wand at a 45 degree angle into the disinfectant container. Slide the cap shield into the jug to prevent backsplash. Check the level and date recorded on the disinfectant container. If the level doesn't change, the chemical intake may have failed. Enter the operator's code 813 and press enter. This is not required. If a manual hot water circulation has just been initiated, press disinfect, press disinfect again. If disinfect is to be performed, a double entry requirement is a precaution to prevent accidental initiation of a chemical disinfection. When prompted, open the front door on the CWP and move the solution connector, AKA dosing connector, to the disinfection position. Do this by twisting the connector counterclockwise and pulling the connector outward. Then, insert the connector into the disinfection port and turn the connector clockwise to secure in place. Press disinfect for a third and final time. The CWP will automatically perform a disinfection program, which will last for 132 minutes. The remaining time is displayed continuously on the operator's panel. The time for each phase of the disinfection process consists of a six minute valve test before chemical disinfection, a 15 minute disinfection intake, a 15 minute circulation of the chemical disinfectant, followed by a 90 minute rinse, and then concludes the total 132 minute disinfection process with a final six minute valve test. When prompted after the 132 minute disinfection program has been completed, open the front door on the CWP and move the dosing connector to operation. Check the chemical level of the chemical disinfectant container, mark the level and record the date. Press start. Pressing start initiates a flush to drain. After approximately one minute, collect a water sample in the drain funnel on the right side of the CWP and test for residual disinfectant. If needed, continue flush to drain and repeat water sampling until there is no reaction from the test strip. A test for residual MinCare HD disinfectant after rinse must be performed before the initiation of the next dialysis session. MinCare HD test strips provide quick results with easy to read indicators. Enter the operator's code 813 and press enter. Once the water is free of disinfectant, press stop. Press start. Dialysis machines can be started when the display goes to operation and the lab indication unit displays a green steady light. This concludes the CWP-100 Operator's Guide. Additional technical biomedical training classes are available